Okay, so Plasticity 1.3 is out and we want to make some exercise and we will make the screw here. Okay, so now let's start. Um, at first we need a spiral. Let's try this one and we will increase it a bit. Let's say 10. Yes, looks fine to me. Right click. Now shift D, duplicate, scale, shift Z, maybe like that. Side view, G, X, uh, G, Z, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Now select everything and hit L for loft. Now we have the first part. Yeah, now we have to split uh, the curves a bit because we just need a solid from here till the bottom so let's do this let's hide this one here okay now we make a cut there on the curve and let's trim this part and here at the at the bottom we do the same split the curve here and trim the rest select everything loft and done i mean at least i hope so so let's hide the rest and bring the second sheet back okay this looks fine so now we will select both and join them together now we have to close everything to be able to do some boolean stuff so we will select these lines close it and by the way, there is maybe a better way, but this is the best way I know, at least. So close it here. Looks different. Very interesting. This could be some kind of welding here. And now we can use Boolean. So at first I would use a cylinder. This size. So I have to check the height if this, is, if this works for us. Uh, face selection mode O, we like that. Let's hide the screw. Now this here. And now we have to rotate it. So I need some kind of uh, 55 degree angle. Okay, select this one and now here we can adjust it. And maybe for that we can get back our thread. Okay, so maybe like that. Yes, this should work. Now at the top, we need also a cylinder and maybe we can, yeah, we can start the, the nut here, bring it down like that. Okay, so let's connect both parts here. This one, Q, this one, Q again, and now it's connected. And here, Q, that one, and right click to confirm. Okay, this looks nice. I think at next we will try to bevel everything. So select these, select these blinds. So let's check this one here, maybe also. Okay, so let's try it. This is very strong, maybe a bit less. Okay, this looks better. Great. And yeah, we are almost done. This here maybe that way. And here again, a small amount. Just to be able to catch some reflections. Here a bit more. Okay, now we need a hexagon. For this we will use the polygon uh, hold shift down and use the mouse reel to get the right amount of segments okay let's bring this a bit higher e for extrude maybe like that let's hide this strange face edge select select everything let's close this here the same oh, let's check this should work fine gz okay so now four for item select 
select this one, Q, select the second one, and that's it. So we can bring the face a bit more down, maybe. And now we can bevel everything. This one. So maybe, maybe like that. So this one and maybe these upper ones also. So let's select it by hand and bevel it just a tiny bit. And this one's like that. Okay, so now everything is done. Maybe here at the bottom, just a tiny bit. Okay, let's check the shading. Maybe we can use this one. And let's hide the edges, maybe this one. This looks good to me. Okay, so plasticity is here and I think it's a big program with very good potential. My main program is Blender, so I will show you something, what I mean here. So typical thing in Blender is if we duplicate this, rotate by Z90 or X, Scale it a bit down, bring it to the side. And now let's connect this with Q, this Q again. And now let's select this one here and let's make some fillets. This here is a bit, a bit less than here. So we can press Cordal to have a continuous one. And just this alone here is maybe, let's say at least five until 10 minutes in Blender. And this is one reason because I love plasticity, because it's very easy to make um, mechanical stuff. And this is pr a pretty cool thing. So now we have a T piece ready to use. And we can also make a fillet here, cordal, and perfect. So yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, please tell me in the comments and I will see you in the next one.